world savior Have you heard of his perfect love? Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how he gave his son? Cause I have found this love I believe in the sun Show me Boys and girls, we just had PBS during this week and hope you guys had fun and whoever joined with us online, um, hope you guys had fun as well. Alright, let's listen to God's words together. Paul dedicated his life to telling other people about Jesus. We've been learning about Paul these days and by the time Paul took the third missionary journey. It, it was about like 20 years um, had passed since Jesus died on the cross and rose from the dead. All the believers, all the Jesus believers, they gather as the early church and they took the good news of the gospel to people in all the places and they love to share with other people with this good news. So as a Christian, the third missionary journey Paul started, he traveled thousands, thousands of miles and spread out the gospel. Let's go watch the video together. Paul traveled from Athens to the city of Corinth. There he met a Jewish man named Aquila and his wife Priscilla. 
they were tent makers, and so was Paul. So Paul stayed with them and worked with them. On the Sabbath days, Paul went to the synagogue to talk to the Jews and Greeks. He tried to persuade them to believe in Jesus. Some of the people believed and the church grew in Corinth. Paul traveled with his friends Aquila and Priscilla from Corinth to Ephesus. Aquila and Priscilla stayed in Ephesus while Paul visited churches throughout Asia. Paul helped the believers in the cities grow stronger in their faith. While Paul was traveling, a Jew named Apollos came to Ephesus. Apollos knew the scriptures well. Apollos liked to tell people about Jesus and what he taught was true. But he did not understand everything about Jesus, so Priscilla and Aquila took him to their home and explained more to him. Apollos traveled and taught others, using the scriptures to show that Jesus is the Messiah. Now Paul traveled back towards Ephesus. He decided not to stop in Ephesus, but he asked the leaders of the church there to meet him in a nearby city. Paul said to them, I am obeying the Spirit and I'm going to sell to Jerusalem. I do not know what will happen to me there, but I know that trouble and jail wait for me. I do not care about my own life. The most important thing is that I finish the work Jesus gave me to do. I want to tell people the good news of God's grace. Paul and the church leaders prayed together and they cried because they knew they might never see Paul again. Then they went with him to the ship to say goodbye. As Paul traveled on his third missionary journey, he used every opportunity to tell people the good news about Jesus and to help the church. Paul was dedicated to Jesus, who called him to do the work of sharing the gospel. Oh, hi. Wow, it is such a nice day. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. Oh, hi God. What, what is that? A heart! Thank you. I'll take good care of it, I promise. Hmm, who should I give my heart to? Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna go do some of my regular activities and let's see who I can give my heart to. I need to go to soccer practice, so let's go to soccer. Hi, soccer buddy. Hi. How's it going? Good. Can I have your heart? Okay. Thank you. By the way, Coach cut you from the soccer team. Here you go. Hi, gamer buddy. Hi. I'm excited for today's game. Oh yeah, me too. Can I have your heart? Yeah, sure. By the way, though, you're just not good enough for for a gaming team, so. Give your heart to me. My heart? But it's broken. That's okay. I love you and I am here for you. Give me your heart. I don't know. Do I give my heart to Jesus? It's already so broken. I don't know. Katie, I am always here for you. Give me your heart. 
Okay, I mean, okay. Here is a new heart that I will give to you. I'll take good care of this heart, I promise. Thank you. I'll give my heart to you. I love you. How was the video? Paul used every opportunity, every time to tell the people about good news about Jesus to help out all the churches place to place all around the world. God blessed Paul's work and God helped Paul preach with, with his heart, with his love, even when he was in danger, God helped Paul. The Bible says that because of Paul's work, everyone in Asia, they heard the truth about God. God changed people's hearts, just like we saw the video. God changed people's hearts. And many people who heard the good news, who heard about Jesus, they believed and they were saved. Remember, God gives us a brand new heart. As we watched the video, teacher Katie, she went to a soccer team and school and met friends, but the heart was ripped and broken. But when we see our God, God gave us, God is waiting for us and he wants to give us a brand new heart. Even though it was hard, even though we went through a hard time, God is waiting for us. That's why Paul went to so many places and spread out God's love. Come before God. Listen to God's words. God is waiting for us. Paul helped believers to follow God. That's what we have to do. If you don't know about God, I want you to come before God and live our lives for God. Focus on God and try to listen to God's words. Paul was dedicated his life to Jesus who called him to do so much work for him and sharing the gospel. I want you to focus on Jesus, focus on God, because he's waiting for you and he wants to give you a brand new heart. Let's pray together, everyone. Lord God, we're so thankful that we have a Father who created everything and who's waiting for us and who has a brand new heart for us, Lord God. So just like Paul, he traveled so many places to spread out God's words. Lord, we want to hear about you more and more and we want to share your love to others more and more, Lord God. So Lord, use us and help us to learn about you more and more. We love you, Lord, and I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, everyone, you guys did a great job. And don't forget, we have a Bible study at 1230. So hope you guys have fun and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye, God loves you.